Anyway, hello, my squids. Uh, <laughs> a little upset here for a second. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I'm not trying to figure out. Not connected. Why is it not playing? It's not even showing up in my in my list. What is here? This is bad. That's where you guys live, uh, but this is what we'll be doing today. We'll be doing some of this right here, uh, messing around with this and all that good stuff. Uh, let me switch back over to put you guys right here. Uh, I don't know why this is not audio. It's not working. Okay, that's just super, super unfortunate. Can I get a default? Oh, I think it's back. So that one, it is, it's back. Yes. Okay. All right. It's back. I'm back. I'm normal. I'm normal again. I promise. Okay. Anyway, after all the snafu at the start of the stream, I apologize. Anyway, hi, my squids. It is the prize winning squid. I am just like I was telling you guys in this disjointed intro. I am actually going to be drawing on my new XP Pen Artist 22R Pro. Uh, this is a display tablet. So it's a tablet that you plug up to your computer. I plugged it up to my MacBook. Um, I love this thing. Like I've been needing a much, much bigger um, tablet and I'm absolutely head over heels in love with this thing. Um, we're gonna switch to the drawing view. So I have Clip Studio Paint up. Um, I've been working on a picture in Clip Studio Paint pretty much today, cause I started kind of drawing it today. Um, just kind of messing with it. Uh, I'm not very super versed in Clip Studio Paint. I am more of a Procreate person. Um, so we're gonna see, I guess what I do with this bad boy. There's a lot of things that I've kind of set up with uh, this this tablet, this pen display. I love this thing. Like, so one of the reasons why I wanted to get one of these was number one, I wanted a much bigger workspace to work with. Uh, that was like the first thing. The second thing was I wanted to be able to um, essentially see like what's what's going on uh, and have a lot of stuff on the sides. I needed more space for Clip Studio Paint because I want to work in Clip Studio Paint more often. Um, so that was that was one of the primary reasons why I wanted to get this. And one of the secondary reasons is the pricing was, was super nice. Uh, this is not nearly as expensive as you would think. Um, I think one of the reasons why is because it's an older model. I think this one is like three years old, two or three years old. Um, and so it's going to end up being a slightly cheaper model than what you you might technically get, uh, you know, right now. Like that is I don't want to say current, but it's more is one of the more uh, current versions of this. Um, so this has a it doesn't have a 4K or a 2.5K uh, screen. It's the full HD screen. So that means it's a 1080p screen. Oops. Um, but honestly, it doesn't, that, it being a screen like that doesn't bother me. Um, ooh, I am not in my, 
in my color uh, for my my eyebrows. Um, but it being, you know, it being that type of screen, it doesn't bother me. And I think one of the reasons why is because typically I'm, <laughs> I have bad eyesight, so I'm always gonna zoom down into pixel level like this anyway. And that, so that's one of the that's one of the reasons why it doesn't bother me as much as it say might bother somebody else or whatever. Um, but yeah, like I went ahead, I grabbed this, probably one of my favorite uh, purchases that I've made in a very very long time. And we're gonna just mess around. Uh, I'm not like I said, I'm not super super versed in Clip Studio. Uh, there's some things that Clip Studio does differently than Procreate. And so I'm kind of, it's almost like I have to learn or relearn uh, how to how to draw digitally again. Not, not too much, but it is um, enough of a difference that, um, you know, I will be clicking around a little bit more than I normally would just to figure, you know, some things out and, and all that good stuff. But everybody has to start somewhere when they kind of jump to a different program. Uh, if you've never used Clip Studio or if you've never used... What's up, Axe? Um, I have you guys living over here now, by the way. And I took away the camera that looks down at the at the thing because that was actually lagging my computer. Uh, but as I was telling the people, oh, Axie Axe, this man wants a thruple already. He always He's always trying to get the thruple on. Can you hear me okay? I was having some issues with the mic. The mic was like being super weird earlier um i don't even remember what i was saying oh yeah yeah yeah. the difference between uh clip studio and procreate there are some differences uh you know there are some differences or whatever so it's not it's not a one-to-one -one switch uh for me especially because there are some things i'm especially some brushes i'm very very used to in uh procreate that i'm not used to in clip studio um, so this is what we're working on tonight. I did have a background that I created. So we'll be adding the background in and doing all that good stuff. Um, I'm actually start adding uh, some skin and all that. Oh, crap. That's going to be an issue. Hold on. Let me erase. Let me erase these lips. And all this elegant list, all elegantness that I uh, that I drew on here on the wrong freaking layer, because obviously when you draw on the wrong layer, that is uh, that's high class right there. Um, so have you messed, you, did you, you said you messed with that new, uh, that new tablet that you got, right? From XP Pen? Let me get these eyebrows. Gotta, I gotta work on my eyebrows a little bit here. Old girl's eyebrows looking kind of, kind of ratchy, you know what I mean? Um, I think, so the, the biggest issue I've had actually switching between, um, Clip Studio and Procreate has been honestly hair because I'm so used to the way that uh, I do hair in Procreate and the brushes that I use for it. Like it's been, it's been, it's been something like trying to get that switch kind of going. And it's been a little bit hard for me to figure out how I want to do my hair in this program versus how I do it in Procreate. Um, but this freaking tablet is amazing. I love this thing. Even when I can't get something the first time, it's a, I think it's a little bit easier in this than it is, or on this than it is on my iPad, which is, I know is weird to say. Um, there's things that I'm trying to get used to. Like the buttons on the side, I freaking love the buttons on the side. And I don't know if you were here, if you saw it, uh, but the buttons on the side, I have little post-it notes on them, so I know exactly what they do. So that's been my kind of my saving grace right now while I'm trying to like, you know, get used to how this works and what my flow will be going forward on like my next pieces, my next couple pieces. Um, let me see. All right. Background's looking good. The sketch is looking good. Let's start doing uh, some of the other stuff. I haven't tried it yet. Just unboxed it to take pics tonight. I got that home remodel job tomorrow, but I'll get, ooh, get to draw with it soon. I, so the reason why I want to know like what you think about it and like how it feels is because I'm honestly trying to get uh, like my stepdaughter something because I know she's interested in like drawing and doing editing like video editing and stuff like that. And so like I want to get something for her that 
won't be like overkill because of her skill level, but she can still, uh, you know, use and has good traction and everything. And I haven't drawn with a tablet like that, you know, like uh, a non-screen tablet before. So I don't know what that'll be like for her. Make sure I'm on the skin layer. So there's ways that other people do this. And I don't know how I'm gonna end up doing this um, when I finally do figure out what I'm doing in this program uh, per se. Let me change the opacity down a little bit. But I'm still used to the doing this. I just realized something. Is my, hold on. Where's my display is at? Turn night shift off. Why is night shift on? That probably changed. I don't know if that changed what y'all see. But literally, I could not see anything on this tablet. And I just realized why. That wired Wacom, Wacom tablet I had before was a great start. I'm sure I like this XP pen better. I just want to know like how, I guess how good like the traction is with it and like what programs are you using uh, when you actually do work? I think that's the other thing. Cause like we have access to Photoshop, but um, it's going to run out at some point and I don't want to pay the, uh, the price for it. So we pretty much just switch into Clip Studio because I'm cheap. But you know how that is when you when you super cheap, you have no money. You need <laughs> you need the best, but you need it uh, as cheaply as possible. So I know that there's a better way to do this. And there's going to be somebody who's going to be like, oh, my God, why are you doing it like that? Because I don't know any other better way yet. I'm still learning, man. I'm still learning. That's why. Uh, go back to the pen. I do have a pen shortcut over here. Yeah, it's only justifiable if you're making res residual income off of it. I use the Adobe Suite for almost everything. Okay. So, like, when I was getting into, um, like, digital anything, and when I was really, like, getting started, started, I did do, uh, like, VFX and After Effects. And so for the longest time, I was using After Effects actually to do pretty much everything. And so I won't say that After Effects was achieved uh, in any other way but legally. There's a free alternative to Photoshop called Paint.net. I used to use that, bef uh, that more before I got this Adobe license. Oh, okay. So is that just like a standalone program or... Is it kind of like is it kind of like a uh, a clip studio where essentially you have like uh, an asset store and you have like all of that that you can kind of mess with? I'm like, hey, y'all, come um come chill in the stream with me before bed, and then it's playing this shit. Oh shit, not that one. I wanna fill some more. Okay, hold on. I gotta look, I gotta look. Okay. I see like there's one little spot up here that I missed. And I promise I will figure out better ways to do everything later on. But right now, I'm just still kinda learning. I'm still kinda messing with this program. Still like figuring it out, you know? Um, yeah, it's not as advanced looking as what you're on now. It's pretty basic, but has layers and filters like Photoshop. It came in really handy for design work back when I was broke, broke. Like, you remember uh, Paint Shop Pro, right? I wonder if people still mess with that, because I never hear anybody ever talking about Paint Shop Pro. Like, I wonder if that's just the old thing. Did that become, like, Corel Draw or something? Is that what, like, what it was? Is that it became a completely different, like, brand, and that's why you never hear about it? Because that kind of reminded me, like, when you was, like, the broke broke, like, that kind of reminded me of that. I do have to say that this pen is, like, super nice. And I think one of the reasons, because it was between this and it was between uh, Huyan, and I think I ended up, because Huion was really in the running there for a minute, but I think I ended up going with this because 
at the end of the day, like price wise, this was fitting my price. This was fitting my screen size. This was fitting everything like I needed, um, you know, price wise and everything beyond other stuff that I could have picked up. Uh, we are going to save this because I had some, I had this app crash on me yesterday after I did, um, was it 20 something faces? I think, no, not 20 faces. It was seven faces to get up to 42 of my hundred face challenge. And then it crashed and it got rid of my seven faces. And then I got, I got sad. I had Corel draw back in the day. Yeah, I think it did. Okay. See, I knew something happened with it, but I wasn't sure what it was. Um, all right. So we got the skin. I'm gonna add another layer. Let's do, let's do the lips. We will do the lips, y'all. Where the lippy lips? Oh, lippy lips over here. All right. Let me scroll my little ass back in here. I will get, I will 100% get better at like all the movement and everything with this. It really is like learning brand new again for the first time. But I kind of like that. I like that challenge. I was going to sit here and fill this in as if I was a first time artist. All right. That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. I like that. I like that. Uh, all right. So we got the lips. Let's do the eyes next. So with the eyes, I am going to do, it's like several different things I have to do first. First, we do the whites of the eyes, which are really grays because let's be honest, your eyes are never actually white, white. And I'm going to rotate this because I like to draw with the grain and not against it. Make it real sexy. You know what I mean? Uh, I had a laptop from Gateway back in the day with touchscreen, a stylus that was real nice to draw on. What? My man had the, he had the cow PC. I ain't gonna lie, I had the cow PC too. Oh shit, what just happened? What just happened? Undo, where's my undo button? Undo. Boom, take that away. All right. Why is it doing that? No, 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 undo, undo. Okay, we just gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna undo the whole thing. There we go. All right, let's undo, I'm undoing all of that. I don't know what just happened. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Yep, I'm on the eyeball layer. I'm just gonna fill it in this way because now I'm feeling like real, I'm feeling kind of like, you know, like uh, real self-conscious that I'm not actually gonna get all of this eyeball and it's gonna look super weird because there's gonna be spots missing and, man, you know we can't have that on stream. You know we can't have that. Mm. Why this song go hard though? I sold it to my manager at McDonald's before I moved out of state. He was like, hey, hey, bro, you want a cow PC? Your manager was like, uh, a what? He was like, no, 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 for real. Like, it's made of cow parts. You was like, really, you was selling it to him, selling it to him. Like, you was, you was a gateway spokesperson. I ain't gonna lie, we had a gateway there for a minute, too. And so, what's funny about, why is this doing that? Ooh, I don't want it to do that. Okay, so I can't really use that here on this part let me just enlarge this and we'll just color it in i have to do more experiments with the uh the magic wand on this program i know somebody gonna be like um that's not how you're supposed to use that like bro i don't know what i'm doing i really don't all right where's my next my next part of the eyeballs um so i'm gonna do What's gonna be my base? I think this is gonna be my base because these eyeballs is about to have like three different things to them. So I'm just, I gotta do it like this. All right, so this is gonna be the base, right? Right here. I almost never draw green eyes. I just realized that I never draw green eyes. So this is like super weird for me. All right, so we have that color, and then I want to do this golden color. Oh, ooh, this song will go a little bit. Okay, I want to do this golden color, and 
shrink this brush size. It kind of brushes in a little, ooh, shit. That's like way too, that's way too harsh. All right, turn that opacity a little bit. There we go. Kind of have it come in from the outside. And what's funny is like, I'm zoomed in so fucking hard and like no one's ever gonna see any of that work, but I'll know it's there. And that's why I do it. My dad had the job at Gateway and got a super deal on that badass laptop for me, but I sold it for so much more. What year was that? Cause I feel like Gateway was there for like, for like a minute. It was like a brief second in the consciousness of humanity and then they just they just vanished i remember we got a gateway like uh when parents first divorced uh, my mom bought a new computer and we got a, a gateway now mind you my family had already been having like we had computers in in like the mid to late 80s so it wasn't like computers for us wasn't like a new thing but it was just funny because because like my mom buying that computer or whatever, it was like a breakaway from like how my dad had been using computers. And it was the first computer I could mess with. Cause my dad would never let me like mess with the computers. He was like, no, 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 no. You're not allowed to mess with the computer. You're not allowed to, to change anything in it. If you want to upgrade it, like we got to talk about it. So like I was able to get upgrades for it, but I wasn't able to do the upgrades myself. And so like that gateway computer was like the first time that I could actually do upgrades myself. I said, I think 2003, 04, it was way back when touchscreens was still new. I still had a MySpace page. I designed my space layouts on the thing. I know you was charging people guap for it too. He was like, yo, yo, yo. Listen, man, I got you on the MySpace layout, but I'm gonna need you uh, to go ahead and slide 500 for it. I really wish Juice was in here right now because Juice already knows what, what I'm talking about. Man, there was a man who was really just telling him, uh, I will charge you uh this much for some for some shit. It was crazy. It was funny as hell. I said, I wish I had been more business savvy back then. I'm on it now, but back then I was a pushover. Honestly, I feel it. I feel like what uh for me where where am I? Hold on. Hold on. I'm on like a I'm on a I didn't create a new layer, so I don't know which layer I'm on. This is why I always, I always, my layers always have to uh, have names, but when I do the eyeball, I do it real fast. So I never, I never give names to these layers. And I do this weird mix of like, the anime style shading, which is cell shading, I guess. And then I want to do painterly stuff. So there's some of that. I try to remember to label my layers, but I don't always remember. I feel you. Bro, I'm telling you, like, if I don't label layers, I won't know what's going on. So, like, I remember I posted something. I had my layers all labeled. And one of my oldest friends, Clara, came in and she was like, the fact that you label your layers and you've been drawing for less time than me makes me feel as if I'm doing something wrong. And I was just like, I mean, it's just I if I don't label my layers, I literally won't know what's going on in the picture. I won't know where I'm at. Right. So I have to label my layers like 100 percent. I end up going through and doing the hide show on every layer until I, find the one I need. So I did that on one picture. Right. And I thought I was on the correct layer. But come to find out. I was but wasn't. It was because there was another layer that I had started drawing on and then I had switched to a different layer to fix something and then came back. And so it was I mean, it ended up just being a, a whole mess anyway, but. I learned my lesson and I was like, I'm not gonna mess with that no more. All right, so all of these I need to, I need to move down. I think I lost some of my, I did lose some of my stuff right there. Um, so I'm gonna do, let me see. That's what it was. Okay, so move this down. Can I move the ad down? Move the ad down. All right, so that's how I can keep it. Cool. Okay, so now I got the eyes. See, this is this right here. This is one of the reasons why I like doing this is figuring out how this stuff freaking works, man. Like, 
if I don't if I don't figure out how any of this works, then I'm literally not gonna know what I'm doing. Also, I realize like the camera up there is kind of shaking, so I might have to move that camera at some point. I'm not gonna move it today. Um because this desk is like the shakiest freaking desk. I don't know why. Um let me see, what was next on my list? Next on my list would be let's do her let's do her mascara. Alright, so that goes above the eyes. We're gonna we're gonna label it mascara. Mascara. Oh wow, you're wearing my shirt. I just noticed. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, player. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know we gotta zoom this in, right? You know we gotta zoom this in. Hold on, where is my remote at? I got this remote on my iPad and I don't even I don't even freaking use it. Hell yeah. I got the shirt on, player. Got the shirt on. You already know. You already know what it is. I'm looking down at myself I, at the screen. There's another screen right there, and I'm looking down right here. But yeah. Was wearing this wearing this mug all day, player. You already know. You already know I represent, man. You already know. Um, let's do, I said the mascara, right? All right, we're going to zoom in. So for the mascara, I go to the, I go to my eyes. My, my, uh, my not my eyes, my hair. My hair uh, pen. All right, shrink this down just a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're going to make it sexy right here. We're going to make it sexy right here just as the music's getting sexy. All right, get these here. Love you, homie. Kirby Knight, what is popping, player? How are you tonight? Also, I freaking love this shirt. Axe makes some of the best, like, just clothing, period. I was kind of mad. There was something that you you uh, posted up one day, and I was like, how did he already beat me to this idea? And I was like, oh, yeah, because he the idea, man. That's how. That's how. Uh, my music studio partner taught me to start doing that with my Beats 2 labeling and color coding every track in my mixer. Yes. Uh, when I actually do music, which I mean, I used to all the time, but now it's, it's more like here and there or whatever, but entire groups will have a certain color coding. So like strings that need to be distorted, have a certain color coding. And then like percussion will have a certain color coding. I keep shrinking my, uh, brush, my brush layer. I'm on the wrong dial. That's why. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to where my brush or where my dials are. But I already love working with this uh this pen display. Like 100 percent already love working with this thing. Ooh, look at her look at her lashes. Ooh. Girl, where you get your lashes done at? Mm, mm, mm. Alright, so I got the mascara. Um I was gonna do the eyeshadow, which is this color right here. Eyeshadow is generally under the eyes, under the lies, under the eyes and the mascara. Eyeshadow. X talking about, it's bedtime for me. No X, you don't get to go to bed. I know he's already gone. But just for future reference, X, you don't get to go to bed. You have to stay here until I go to bed which is like one in the morning. I did take my stuff today, my sleeping pills. So, said, go to that link. Possum, what, what? Hi, J Fag Love, what? <laughs> yeah, I said, I'm still here even though I should be sleeping. You know you wanna stay here for all time. Stay with us, Axe, stay with us. I'm like the most inefficient artist that you will ever meet in your life. I'm literally doing things that you should not be doing with a program this powerful, such as drawing in the uh, the eyeshadow 
by hand instead of like going around a certain part and yada yada because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I'm on the, um, hold on, let me, ah, okay. Now I can see it. I'm looking at, I'm looking at everything on the little uh, remote on the iPad. Um, actually, Axe, can you post that link? And then, Possum, are you able to grab it and like make it so it is an actual link? So y'all can go and look at Axe's stuff and maybe even purchase some of Axe's shirts. Um, I am wearing his shirt tonight. It's just one of those things, like I forgot I was wearing it because it's just like, it's one of the, it's part of my wardrobe. Like I just, I literally just go and get it out and just wear my, wear the shirt. Like it's just a shirt, you know what I mean? Like not just a shirt, but it's like, it's a shirt. So I, I get it out and I wear it like I would any other normal piece of clothing because it's freaking dope. Uh, let's do the suit because I did eyes, so the eyes, the eyeshadow, the lips. Uh, let's do, yeah, let's do the suit now. And the suit is going to be a little bit tricky because it's over top of the skin. And so I'm going to need to... Da, 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 da. Yes, thank you for the sub, homie. I freaking appreciate you, man. Love your ass. I actually here already giving it up for the people. Said, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me subscribe, then I can... Post my own goddamn links. I love it. All right. Uh, let me move this down a little bit. I honestly love uh, the reference for this picture. So a lot of my reference pictures are, and a lot of my clothing um, options come from uh, actual like clothing manufacturers and clothing sites because I feel like they 100% have the best choices especially if you're trying to look for uh, like some super classy stuff but also and this is something I noticed when you have like plus size anything um, if you want a really good looking reference especially clothing reference, or even just uh, just a reference overall, you can go with one of these sites because plus size clothing manufacturers don't like to show plus size people in like sexy poses or whatever. So you actually get to see the clothing in more like true to life type of uh, environments which is freaking hilarious to me. So this one was just somebody sitting at a piano and I thought it looked cool. So, okay, whew. This man dropping, it's more than plus size. I'm like multiplication <laughs> table size, I freaking hate you. Said, I'm multiplication table. Bro, what multiplications are you? I'm definitely at the eights and the nines, you know what I mean? I'm 12 times 12, like, what's good? I didn't mean to go up that far. I actually, and I just realized I missed a part of the skin. Huh. Isn't that funny? I'm going to have to fix that. Because that is going to bother me. All right. I need to fix that. All right. Let me look, let me look, let me look. I might be able to fill this in now. I know that there is an infinitely better way to do this, but you know what? This is the way that I figured out and it looks okay. And it, I feel it, I love it. So we're gonna go with this, we're gonna go with this. All right, so I do need to go back to the skin layer. Oh Lord. I did all that, and that isn't even on the right layer. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Copy. Paste. Eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow two is going to be uh, 
clothing top and eyeshadow the first eyeshadow I'm gonna get my eraser out and I'm gonna erase all of this and now turn that off so I can see yep all right and then come back to the clothing top and I need to erase the eyeshadow which there wasn't any all right now I'm good what is up starfighter the new tablet is beautiful it's just absolutely gorgeous hold on hold on let me show you also ask, love you homie appreciate you coming through appreciate the subscription too homie freaking love you man um so this is this is the tablet hold on let me switch back to switch back to the view so this is the tablet i got on the sides i don't know if you can see it too well i have all my my quick keys and all that good stuff because let's be real i don't know what i'm doing and i i still need reminders of what my basic keys are so there we go um i just pulled my headphone cord out there we go so you know how it is um what you up to homie let me see if i can get my go back to clip studio Okay, so we got the clothing top. I need to go back to the skin and skin here. All right. Whoa. All right, let me come down here. Change my brush size a little bit. So it was like so much faster to get this picture started than any of my previous pictures but I feel like that might just have to do with like the fact that I kind of knew what I wanted to do but I mean there is there is something to say about this pen display as well just finished dinner wonder if my job is gonna make me come in tomorrow evening we get that freezing rain down here Ooh. so last night um, I was just sitting up here drawing and I heard what sounded like something coming down super, super heavy. And like, I didn't even realize that we were getting essentially like freezing rain. I thought, I thought it was something else that was coming down. And so I was kind of like tripping out until, uh, you know, my fiance was like, oh yeah, I got up and I thought the cat was chewing on something. And then I realized the cat wasn't chewing on anything. On anything. The cat was literally asleep. And it was, uh, it was like freezing rain outside. And then it started snowing. So everything shut down today. Clothing top. All right, make sure I'm on the right freaking layer because apparently I don't know what layers are. Uh, I need to do this sleeve over here. Um, let me do, let me change my brush size just a smidgen. Yeah, like, um, I feel like it came out of nowhere too because I'm remote, but like people at my job when they had to go into the office, they were like, yeah, I woke up today and didn't even realize that this was happening. So now traffic is like the worst. Nobody, nothing is, you know, salted. So I was kind of thinking about like my folks in the South because I do kind of worry about y'all, especially considering, was it last year or was it the year before that when y'all had like the absolute freeze and like nothing, nothing got done. All right, let me zoom out. Zoom out, let's pull this back to the middle. Uh, there is a part I'm missing on here. Okay. Actually, I think I'm supposed to do all of this right here because I think this was, yeah, that was also part of the sleeve. It's like, I couldn't remember where all of my sleeve area was.
Boom. All right, I think that looks good. I'm like, I'm, I'm nervous about the hair because I don't know how I'm gonna do the hair yet. I don't have my hair brushes like I do in Procreate, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the hair yet. There, it might be one of those things where I might potentially export this to Procreate, do the hair and Procreate and export it back. I don't know, where did that suddenly go? I don't know why I just tried to literally leap off the page. Um, but that's an I that like that's an idea I'm having, but I kind of want to do everything in Clip Studio and just kind of like I want to fumble around and figure just figure stuff out as I as I kind of go, you know what I mean? Um, all right. So, 2021 snow a snow snow apocalypse as we call it. So did you I can't remember, did you lose power in all of that? Or was that just um because I know I know Sean did. And then the freaking uh It was like the stadium. He could see the stadium. He could see the lights on in the stadium while he had no power. And then like the um was it I think it was uh the car dealership or something across from him got power and then he still didn't have power. I was like, this is, that's literally like the saltiest, shadiest shit. I don't know why I'm being like, oh yeah, that's why, because it doesn't go all the way down there, dummy. Let me get some of this over here. So I kind of want to just like take it out to right here and then I'm gonna just go along the edges after this and then do the fill tool. Yeah, that looks good. All right, zoom it out a little bit. This song kind of goes though. I don't know what I picked. I literally was worried about what I was gonna pick for the stream. So I have no idea what music I picked tonight. It might not even be chill music. We might be over here like ready to go to fucking war. Power for four days and no water. Lost power and lost plumbing. No power for four days and no water for five days. Jesus Christ, dude. Like the only equivalent that I think I've ever had in somewhat recent memory would be uh, in Cincinnati, there was uh, these wind storms that knock out, like knocked out power. I had just bought groceries too. I had just spent like $200 in groceries. And so everywhere lost power, the transformer behind my apartment blew. And so me and my now ex-wife, uh, we, she was like just my girlfriend at the time. Um, we didn't have power and that was, I think for a week and a half or something like that. But like, we still had like plumbing and stuff. It was just, it was like cold water or whatever. And like, I still had the ability to, to go to work and like eat at work cause work was still fine. Um, but it was just like our apartment complex didn't have like anything. But like, what's crazy to me is that, isn't Texas still one of those things like, there will be no government uh, regulation when it comes to power companies? Which is honestly probably the craziest thing that I've ever heard in my life. Because I feel like, I feel like at least in this, this country, power is like, it's a right, not a privilege. Like, you literally can't do anything without power. As much as like, as much as say like people want to live off the grid and so on and so forth, like the only way you could live off the grid is if first you get established on the grid to then be able to live off the grid. Like there's no, there's no way you can just a hundred percent be like, yeah, I'm not going to have power. Like, there's just, that doesn't exist. 
So it's just, it's asinine to me that that's not one of those things where it's like, you have to have, it's, it's government mandated that everybody have access to power 24 seven and no private companies have like a strong arm, stronghold. Or maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just one of those people where I'm just, I'm crazy for, for this thought process. I don't know. You know me, like, I, I don't want to be, like, overly political, but, I mean, we live in, polit in, like, a political climate. Like, everything's politics. So, my idea is, like, people should just have the right to have, like, energy. Because if you don't have energy, like, you can't even do basic shit. Like you said, you didn't even have plumbing. Like, you can't have plumbing without power. And then we'll see, like, what, what blows me away is then we'll see stuff where, like, people, will, you know, not even corporations, like, billionaires will just be like, oh, yeah, man, like, I figured out how to make a toilet that can self-flush and self-clean, and we're going to put it in, uh, you know, third world countries, quote unquote, because I don't think any country is a third world country. That's freaking weird to me. But we'll put it in these places that don't have the standards of whatever and then they turn around and they're like but we're not going to give that to people also in those same countries in like america in like the uk or whatever that don't have the standard that you see in the country and i'm like what it makes no sense to me it literally makes no sense to me like it's it's the most mind-boggling thing to me Uh, clothing top three. I know ain't nobody come here to listen to me freaking ramble and be mad. But I'm a rambling mad person. Um, I think I'll do this color. I don't remember what colors I was actually going to do for her outfit. I just, I wanted it to be blue because the background... The background when I do finally start working on it is this and so I wanted like her outfit to stand out from the background um, but I didn't have like a definitive this is the color of her outfit in mind and this is like what it looks like it was basically I pieced it together from just random stuff that I found on like Pinterest and all that uh, I never understood the whole prepper hermit mindset of off the grid living um, we all rely on each other in, in ways we can't see. Just let your guard down and come back to the tribe. 100%. Starfighter, you fucking get it. And I think, I think that mindset is a mind, it's like, I don't want to say it's a childish mindset because, I mean, not to insult children or anything like that. You can have that mindset, but you have, you still have to have community. Like you can't, you can't 100% be so self-sufficient that you never, ever need anything. Um, Possum, thank you. Thank you, girl. I need, Hold on. I need to see what color is this? Okay, that's that color. What color is this? Okay, it is a different color. I'm like, am I tripping? Is this the right color? Am I, am I literally losing my freaking mind right now? Um, so I've tuned my... I've tuned this display to look like what's on my iPad because I'm so used to my iPad and those are the two things that I'm going to be looking at when I'm working. But my computer monitor looks different than both of these things. So it's throwing me off. I look up and I see it over there and I'm like, that doesn't look like it. All right, let me, let me get these lines. These lines gotta be like slick, you know what I mean? super slick and like one of the things one of the I don't want to say issues that I have with this picture but one of the things that I was like man I really got to make sure this picture pops on this is like her thigh because I felt like she is very much thigh this is a lot of thigh I really I had to make sure that the bottom half of this picture looked as good as the top half My line art's a little bit messy, but that's because I never actually used my line art uh, in the finished piece. I used to, I don't need more. Um, let me 
connect this part right here. I'm finding actually, I think one of the things that I love about Clip Studio is that the brush stabilization is better. It's quote unquote better. I use it differently in this than I do Procreate. They both have really good brush stabilization, but because of the way Clip Studio does its brush stabilization, I'm finding that I don't need to draw as many, I don't need help to draw curved lines or straight lines as much as I do in Procreate. Um, and I say that and freaking go off the thing. I'm gonna go about halfway, hold on. There we go. I didn't mean that one. I meant the hand, sir. I meant the hand, squidums. Squidacious, squidacious squidums. All right, that looks good. What? Possum what? Tell me. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I need to know, I need to know. I gotta know, I gotta know, I gotta know. Let's go. What? Are you serious? What freaking show? Listen, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm mad. I'm big mad. So I wanted to go to the Incubus and Coheed show, right? Cause don't get it twisted. That right there is the ultimate combination. Like that's a combination that if I was like 20 years younger, I would be losing my absolute fucking mind over it, right? But I have no money. I'm po as a joke. I'm broke as a joke. I literally am the stand-up comedian who goes to the open mic and I'm not funny. Like that's how that's how broke. I currently am that my joke about being broke ain't even that funny. I'm freaking jealous, dude. Like, jealous, jealous. Like, I'm telling you, if I could literally, number one, not do what I'm doing. Hold on. This is clothing top four. Clothing. This isn't even the top. This is, I literally drew the bottoms and I'm calling them clothing top. Also, I can't type apparently. We're just going to have to deal with me not being able to type today. That's how it goes. That's just the way it is. Oh, so you're doing... um, It's the in-between. Because I... Well, wait. When do they when do they start with uh, Death Haven? Or Death Heaven? That's reason... That's... Because there's a, a period of time and it's like four or five dates where it's them with Incubus... And then they have the shows after that leading up to the cruise. Which also, I'm freaking jealous of anybody who's going to fucking cruise. Like, bro, are you serious right now? Me just being poor as hell. Like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I just, I won't ever see my, my favorite band again in life. Because of how broke I am. I'm going to lower this uh, the opacity of the line art so I can actually see what I am doing. The song that's playing right now super reminds me of some uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Like you just found out some super deep shit in Full Metal Alchemist. I can't do the only one, right? Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. You get to see No World for Tomorrow. That is literally my favorite Coheed album. I would, I would kill to see that played front to back, live. Like, I would lose my absolute shit. Like, I can't even begin to express how much I love that album. Like, Vax's 2 is super close, and the Afterman series is, like, it's up there. But No World for Tomorrow literally is my absolute favorite album of all time. I think in just music, period, it's, like, my favorite album of all time. There is something that is fucking magical about that album, and I think part of it is the fact that it's, like, quote-unquote, technically the end of the primary Coheed storyline. 
and it feels it feels final. Like if they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna disband after we release this album or whatever," I'd have been like, "You know what? I freaking get it, man. Like, you can't. There's no way you can do an album like that and not not disband. Like, you you you're not allowed to actually do anything else after you put an album like that out." I mean, I might be tripping, but that's how I feel. And now you get to see that shit live. Oh, dog. I'm so fucking jealous. Like, the t literally, the tickets came up. And I looked at the fiance, and she was... Like, mind you, she would have been like, buy him or whatever. But she was like, you know, there's some stuff coming up that we really want to do. And some things that we kind of got to work on or whatever. And I was like, you know what? You're completely right. Like, because she otherwise should have been like, fucking buy them tickets. Especially like the Incubus tickets. She would have been like, yeah, get those tickets. Because like me and her have seen Incubus once together. And we, we were supposed to see him again. We were also supposed to see like Elton John and then COVID happened. So we still have like hella concerts we need to go to. And so that would have been, oh man, that would have been such a good fucking show to go to. Especially just to show her how wild the Children of the Fence act. Maybe that wasn't a good show to go to, actually. Because of how wild the Children of the Fence fucking act. Like, I love y'all, but y'all y'all stress me the fuck out. <laughs> Like, y'all just stress me out all the time, all day. You gotta get out of them groups. Got me super stressed out. Somebody gonna come in here and be like, what are you stressed out about? Squid, don't be stressed out, bro. I'm stressed out about the fandom I'm part of. What's funny is, like, I did not have any of the Coheed comic books for the longest time either. And, like, just recently, finally got, like, some of the comics. So, I have, I finally have, um, the, I'm up to what now? Because I have three of them. So, I have Second Stage, Silent Earth, and Good Apollo 1. So I have those three, and then I have the the two of the um, what is the new comic that he that they're putting out that you had to order, you had to like pre-order or whatever. Uh, Prize Fighter Inferno stuff. So I have I have that stuff now. Um, I didn't. I realized I have not done her nails, so I'm gonna make her nails the color of her lips. Is what I'm gonna do. So her her clothing is done. Um butts butts awesome. Um I might put it on the eyeshadow layer. No. Because I have enough I don't have to I don't have to think about uh anything like that because I actually have enough layers now. That was something I always had to like think about in procreate is like okay so hold on do i have enough layers to actually make this this and this work and now i don't have to think about that and what's weird is like unlike uh let me clip that to that because I'm not extending her nails on this, so her nails will just be where they're at. All right, let me zoom in here. I actually did not put anything for her nails over here. I remember like one of the 
first things about Coheed that I loved, because I came in, I was working a hotel job, and uh, my friend Debbie at the time, like, we don't talk anymore because of some stupid shit I did. So I'm, I'm 100% taking fault on that one. Um, but she sent me a song, and she sent me uh, Never Ender. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And then she sent me Delirium Trigger. And I was like, yo, like, what is this band that you're showing me? And she was like, well, they're called Coheed, and they're going to have comic books and, like, all this other stuff. And I know you're into comic books and songs that have stories to them and blah, 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 blah. Like, this might be something you're interested in. And, like, when I tell you that shit lit a fire up under my ass, and I was so into everything they were doing and since then it's just it's been a wrap because like i i listened to those two songs second stage had just come out like four or five months before that and so you had to go to i actually went to hot topic and i asked about it and they said it wasn't there yet and that they might be getting copies and so i waited <laughs> i waited for hot topic to get their copies in and then i literally went bought it and sat in my car and listened to second stage front to back like three or four times and it's been a rap ever since like every time a new album drops I, like i'm there day one like i have to be and now it's now it's the only way you can do it is really just like deluxe box sets all right so i'm about to struggle with the hair for a minute because i'm gonna have to figure out how this works all right so first we're gonna put the hair up under the eyes so this is hair dark. All right, so. It's fucking song, man, it's so good. I didn't do eyebrows, oh yeah, because the eyebrows are on here now. I was about to freak out, and then I was like, oh yeah. This is the stage where I put the eyebrows in. Duh. Alright. Zoom out a little bit, look at my eyebrows. They look kind of kind of jank. Let me actually uh let me get my soft eraser out. So I have like two erasers and I have like a soft one so I can just come in and kind of like take stuff away without like taking it away too much. Okay. So now I'll zoom in a little bit, look at it. Yeah, it looks kind of decent. Uh, there's no one like them, I swear. Oh, 100%. And I think, I think what makes them so good and beyond just like unique is the fact that you can enjoy them in multiple different ways uh i used to use their music as like a way for myself to write my own stuff because i saw like oh man here's this group and they're able to do the stuff that i would love to do and so i kind of use that as a as a way to springboard like my own thought processes when like working on things and of course like if you already have kind of like someone who has done a roadmap of things you would love to kind of attempt like that makes it easier to attempt said thing this hair is about to be messy as hell And then every time they release, I feel like every time they release an album too, it's been something uh, that was released around the time that I needed to hear it. Like, so the Afterman series came out when uh, I was getting a divorce. And so we were already separated. And there was there were songs like Afterman was one of them, um, Dark Side of Me. There were songs that like resonated super, super hard with me. 
And honestly, if it wasn't for those songs, I probably wouldn't have made it through in a lot of ways. So, like, it's melodramatic, but I don't feel like it's melodramatic to be like, yeah, man, like, some of these Coheed songs, like, saved my life. But it's like, there was a there was a chance that I wouldn't have, like, made it. You know what I mean? I'm trying to finish the song before my birthday hit. Starfighter, when's your birthday? When is your birthday, player? I need to know. We need to surround this man in tentacled love. All kinds of tentacled love, which sounds weird. I don't even know if he wants me to surround him in tentacled love. So there's something on here. I need to, let me look at this. So it says tolerance, okay. Uh, close the gap. So isn't there a way to like feather this too? I think. Oh, so that's what, that's, oh, that's the tone, okay. Okay, I'll just leave this like this for right now. And I'll kind of, I wanna mess with that a little bit more. Cause I like that it filled in like the areas I needed it to fill in. But I definitely want, I want less of the jagginess on the edge. So I need to figure out how to do the anti-aliasing on uh, the fill tool and the paint bucket. Cause I think that would look better without like those jaggies. The old jaggies. Friday, February 3rd to be more specific. Oh shit. Happy early birthday, homie. Possum, I am I will tell you right now, I'm, I'm a proponent of I understand shit happens and people go through shit and like all of that. But the best thing, at least for me and to me, is like that I'm still here to experience said said wildness that exists. Because honestly, I, I really don't know where I would have been. Like, it's it's melodramatic as hell, man. But there was some stuff in some of them, some of them lyrics that just like fucking hit. Really fucking hit. Like, dark, especially Dark Side of Me. And they really just, I'm glad that like they put that out. I'm glad that, that a lot of that seems like it came from Claudio's like, own personal struggles with with stuff, you know, and then he was able to parlay that into like something else. But there was parts where I'm just like, I know when he was sitting down, he was really like thinking about it. Like it had to have been in like a super deep kind of like fucked up moment, you know. And then you have to think like, man, should I leave or should I, should I try to tough this out? Is this something that, is this, is this leave worthy or, and I'm glad like, I'm glad that wasn't something that I did or anybody that, you know, I know right now has like done. There have been people that have done it, but people who are still just around because there was like something like that to kind of latch onto and hang on to. And that shit feels good. Like, I mean, shit, I wouldn't have met you. Like, I think that's one of the things like being able to watch like you grow and just knowing you as a, as like a person Starfighter, I wouldn't have met Starfighter. I wouldn't have met like a lot of people. And so I'm glad. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> where am I not closed at? I hate that it doesn't tell me where I'm not closed. Or maybe it does and I just don't. I don't really know how to look at it yet. Right here, maybe? I don't know. Right here, maybe? I 
I know that there is a way to know where you're not closed up yet. Uh, because I've seen people talk about it. Let me zoom out. There it is. I don't know. I have no idea what it was. Yeah, it's something, it's not in uh, the hair I've done thus far. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that where I, I'm gonna auto fill my own stuff here like this, the old fashioned way. I feel like for this, I need to get one of those things like the, um, where it can be like up here and then I can just pull it down and pull it into my chest. Like, let's go. I got that. Let's close this one right here. Because I am going to, I think I'm going to clip everything to these layers. All the hair parts, I'm going to just clip them to the layers themselves. Which I don't think I've done in a very, very long time. Uh, choosing to do art is a choice that brings so many things and people into your life. And I'm glad I made that choice. I'm glad you made the choice to share your art with everyone. I fucking love you, Starfire. I love you, Possum. I fucking love y'all, man. Like, it's wild that, like how you meet people and then the capacity that they have to just like enrich your life. Like you ever just think about that? Like there's a point, there's a point I think in everybody's life where we're like, man, I don't, I think I'm good on friends. I'm good on blah, blah, blah. And then you just meet people and like you can't figure out what your life would have been like without those people. And I do kind of think like that, to me, that informs how I kind of like approach a lot of things. Because I feel almost like if I didn't think about like all the good people that I've met along the way, there would be like this dissonance and this like cognitive dissonance of like, am I good enough? Am I blah, blah, blah. But it's like, well, if you weren't, the people that you met along the way, they would have left like ages ago. And the reason why they didn't is because you are who you are and you're doing what you do. And like, that's not in a, so you owe them and they owe you type of way, but it's just like every step that I take isn't taken alone. I think that's the super important part is like, it's not taken alone. So I'm gonna experiment with this hairbrush and we're gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can kind of make this a little bit like how I use it on Procreate. If not, that's okay. Because honestly, I just wanna experiment. Like this is, I want to experiment a lot. That isn't, that's not clipped. All right. And I'm trying to do where I have maybe like a bigger kind of brush and I'm just brushing the strokes in. Because I do want that color underneath to inform the rest of how this works. But I need, I need the big blocks of color to be a certain way and then the smaller blocks are what breaks the hair out. So we'll see if this works. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Like, I just, I want to figure this out because I feel like this is one of the things that has been one of my weakest uh, things messing with this app is like trying to get hair how I do it um, to be exactly how I do it on this app.
So that might even be like a weird part where her hair is. So I'm gonna open up my Pinterest. And I'm gonna look at where the part on the references hair is to see if I can line it up a little bit. I have entirely too many references. is here the part is like it comes up here and it comes a little bit this way and then it kind of wraps around and so this part is like a separate section and then it kind of comes out this way but that's gonna look weird on her So this is like the part of drawing where like, I love it, but I hate it because it's it's me trying to figure out how this works at the angle that I have it working at. And so what I think I'm gonna do, uh, let me get the eraser, the so we'll do the soft eraser. I might actually just erase. I mean, it would help if I turned it up a little bit more. So I want to erase this because I kind of, I'm going to mess with this angle a little bit. And I kind of want to look at somebody else looking to the side. Just have a, I want to have a little bit better idea of where this will be okay so I could do um, I'm gonna make a new layer so because I want to mess around with this so there's one reference picture I have that's kind of like here and then it comes back like this so then I would have to take off like this part of the hair. But if I did it that way, then I could lay her hair from like right here down. And then angle it down this way. So I might, I might be able to do it that way. That'll look a little bit better, I think. So I'm gonna leave that layer right there and then come back to my dark layer and do my, uh, the hard eraser. So this is one of the things I freaking love about digital art is that you can make changes like this and they're destructive changes, but they don't destroy your picture to the point like you have to start over completely. And like, don't get me wrong, wrong, I love traditional too, but I feel like this is the absolute strength of why digital art is a little bit stronger than traditional. And it's just cause you can't make like changes like that. So that looks a little bit better. Now I'm gonna come in on the, this part and get my, not that hair tool, get this hair tool. Zoom it in just a little bit. Okay. 
There we go. So I think that works a little bit better. And so I'm gonna do So I'm gonna have to work on that a little bit, but I can kind of come in now and do like this part right here. And so she can have that like little hair piece that's kind of like sticking out. Okay. And so then this part right here will be darker than the rest of whatever I need. Okay, so that works. So I'm gonna go back to hair dark. Grab this color again. Let's do the ink pen. And it's so funny because it's like trying to figure out like it's almost like it's almost like you're trying to build something as opposed to draw it like that's how i approach it like cool i'm trying to build like a person or i'm trying to build a building but i need to somehow figure out how to do it from start to finish without having the actual tools to do it itself All right, so have it like that. So then I'm gonna come up here because there's some stuff I do wanna kind of like take out just a little bit. Um, where's my eraser? Shrink the size of it. I'm gonna back this up just a little bit right here. I'm gonna take that part out. Uh, get my soft eraser. And so to me, this is kind of now looking almost like a, uh, didn't mean the hard eraser. This is almost looking kind of like Disney-esque. Some Disney-esque vibes. And so when I come back in, like these two sections right here, I'm gonna put some line work, a little bit of line work when I like come back to mess with them. Um, but I'm gonna leave those lines right there because I want to use them as a guide and then uh, where is my hand tool? There we go. So I need to grab this one. This is going to be hair mid. Oh, mid. Yeah. Uh, and we'll clip that to the layer below it too. I think that's the other thing I want to do is like, I want to clip layers and then go back and add strands in different, like in between the different layers so that I can kind of build that up. And so I think that'll, that'll look cool, I think. I hope. One can only hope. Thank you, Possum. So I'm gonna try to get some, I wanna get some of the light work right here and then right here. And then, let me see. Let's zoom out a little bit. I kinda wanna look at it. Okay. That's starting to look a little bit better. And now I can go back down here because I have two sets of, I always do this with hair. I have two sets of hair. I have the hair that goes over top of like uh, the face and everything. So I have the the hair that's kind of like in this, this top section right here. And then I have, I always build a, a hair layer that goes underneath the skin just so I, I don't clip and I don't have to worry about Oh man, am I getting, am I edging up too close or whatever? Um, all right, so I'm gonna make a new hair under, under mid dark. It helps if I can spell. Um, all right, come back over here, grab you, grab my hairbrush a little bit.
And so here I'm trying to designate parts of the hair that will end up being uh, on the bright side of the hair and then hair that is dark. And I know people do their hair differently, but this helps me like visualize it in an almost 3D way. Clip that. So I need to undo that because I have to remember where my sun is coming from. It's, it's coming from the window. The window is coming this direct, or the sun is coming this direction. So it's going to be like right here. And then this one will actually be on the top. There we go. So I love this thing because it came with like an almost paper-like screen protector on it. What is this? Oh, okay. That is that. Okay, cool. Um, so I'll do one on top. Oh wait, I didn't do the hair mid yet. Oopsies, delete, layer nine. All right, so hair mid is going to be this one. I think I started with hair mid. No, 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 wait. I started with the super light one because I went to an Adobe thing and that's where I was grabbing all, like all my hair and stuff. Um, so I started with like a super, super light one. So like the top of her head would be brighter because the sunlight is hitting it directly. Uh, but then the bottom, like this bottom section wouldn't be as light, but I'm gonna still add the variation in there because I want this variation to show up. think about like where I want uh, the hair color to kind of change and like where the light is gonna hit because there's obviously she's inside so there's gonna be lights like inside that are kind of also adding to this effect uh, turn that down and turn this up just a little bit Just a smidge, because I do want to kind of mess with these ends a little bit. Okay. Okay, it's not looking too bad. It is, I am going to have to freaking get used to this, because I'm not used to this at all how the how I current the hairbrush I currently have isn't it doesn't leave the um, I don't want to say streaks but it's like the little lines that I was having in my brush on procreate it doesn't really have those so I, I have to figure that out but that'll be something like I figure out just over time because it took me forever to find those hair brushes and then uh, kind of, oops, kind of modify them for what I need. All right, so hair under mid. Okay, so I need to make another layer here. Hair uh, under mid. 
almost typed in under boob. Because of course, of course we have to have the under boob there. Hitting that nice little highlight on there. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. When I tell you, this shit is looking clean. Looking clean, girl. Oh. Oh yeah, this shit looking nice. It's looking hella nice. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. All right, so now it's gonna be, it is gonna start being like a little more detail work. <laughs> Thank you, Puzzle. So I'm gonna have to start doing a little bit more detail work. Um, Cause now I'm about to, I'm about to add in the, I'm going to add in the lighter strands. So there is going to be like a little cleanup I'm going to have to do here. That, it's starting to turn out better than I thought it would. Like I was super, super scared and super nervous about trying to mess with the hair because that's been one of the things that have, I've had issues while working on other pictures in Clip Studio. And I think I haven't put out a picture yet because I'm still like, I was in that stage of like trying to refine it. Um, here, mid light. And so I think now I'm getting that, like that groove. Uh, which one is this one? It's that one. Yeah. All right. So I have two different colors that I can do on top of all this. So I'm gonna have to kind of figure that out too. And like, I don't wanna do too much, but I do need to like differentiate this part from the other part. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Actually, there's a part in here where I think it looks like the hair is kind of like turning in on itself and I don't want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to highlight this part just a little bit and then have this part a little more highlighted. So it looks like it turned. I do think one of the things I like love about this pen display the most is that once you have everything set up it is a very much set it and forget it kind of kind of thing kind of process and it's like it's more about you trying to figure out like how does the program you're using work as opposed to oh i need i need to know how my device works I need to learn how this device actually like accepts inputs and does this and does that. And I freaking love that because like I was able to just pick it up, plug it in. Like I did have to do some refinement and stuff, some calibration. Um, I had to calibrate the screen to the way my iPad looks and it's not a one for one, but it's close enough. 
because I want to be able to work on both machines uh, without like an issue. So like, I don't want to look at it and be like, why do my colors look like this? Why do my colors look like that? Like, I don't want to have that kind of issue. So I calibrated it as close to the iPad as I could get it. And I feel like it's, it's close enough that I'm going to be able to like, just pick up the iPad and just go with like the same project. All right, I think that's looking, that's looking pretty decent. So hair under, hair under, uh, mid light. If I can type mid light, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, so now I can do this part right here. And it's like, you kind of want to add like these little streaks through the hair too, to make them pop a little bit. But also like, norm that's what hair just normally does. It's like none of the hair, none of your hair is like one single color. So this one, I was debating whether I wanted to make this an ad. So let me see, if I make it an ad, what does it do? I might make it a little too yellow. So I feel like that makes it stand out a little too much. Um, Let me save this because I haven't saved in a while and I feel like something is going to happen. I don't think it will, but. the brush size just a little bit. So this is where I get to do like those cool little overlaps that your hair does. And kind of make those pop just a little bit more. And it's like I kind of had them in there, but now I get to identify them like way easier. Uh, I'm gonna dial that one back a little bit. 
So there's like this little part back here where it looks like the hair is kind of like curving in on itself. But I don't want it to be too much of a noticeable thing because I feel like I feel like you wouldn't really see that see that at it gander uh where's my background background's right there okay so this is gonna be cool when i'm able to kind of feather some of the edges out because i'm gonna blend when i get done with the hair i'm gonna actually go along the hair edge and I, i'm glad that i did a clipping mask because i'm gonna go along the hair edge and blend it just a little bit like not too much um, to take off some of that sharpness. I should probably be on the right, on the right freaking layer, huh? Which layer am I on? Hair light. All right, so hair under light. Hair under light. Clip that. So I am going to do that last uh, pass, I think, uh, for the hair. I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this one. And I think what I'm going to do, let's go here. Let's make another one. This is going to be hair highlight. So it's not my, I mean, I, I should probably learn how to spell. It's not like my overall highlight, but... I want to mess with this glow. I want to see what that looks like. I'm going to actually just do a couple passes on this. And I kind of want to just see, like, after I do that, like, what it looks like. So that's super, super uh, too much. <laughs> Let's dial that back just a little bit. So I want to mess with this a little bit. Ah, oh, the overlay looks a little bit better, I think. Oh yeah, that looks better. So then that leaves me room to actually do like some actual highlight highlights. I can add in like these little, these little like diminutive streaks here and there where it looks like the, the light was playing with it, playing with the hair.
I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep coming down there and like messing with the hair that's underneath. Like my guy, you are gonna have to go to the other layer if you wanna do any of that. All right, that's looking good. I like it. So I'm gonna have to do the overlay on this one too. Um, hair. What is up? Zero the recalled. What's popping, homie? What you been up to? My homie popping in, doing his thing, getting his Kohe tickets too. I know he getting his Kohe tickets. What you doing, my G? It's like I can already kind of see this taking shape, but I know I'm gonna to want to work with it a little bit more. But I don't want to. I don't want to overdo like this little highlight right here. Uh, let me change my brush size. My brush size changed. In a chat for the con, I'm working in April. What? What con are you working? I know you started working cons and shit. Everybody doing new shit now, man. I love it. Like, straight up, I love it. Okay, so now that I got that, let me... I did not mean to make that layer. Let me clip it. Let me save. Save button is over here. I changed my where my save button is, so now I'm, like, paranoid that I'm going to accidentally forget saving. All right, so we're going to go to hair dark. And what should I do? Should I do a blend? Let me see. So that's the fingertips smudge. I don't want to do that. Uh, does that one work or does the... I feel like the squid one will work a little bit better. Ooh, the squid one is entirely too much. It's like, it's not even blending, it's just erasing shit. Okay. Turn that down. Oh, SakuraCon? I'm one of the exhibit hall workers and coordinators. Also, I redeemed a reward by the by. What reward did you redeem? Hold on. Let me look. What reward did you redeem, my guy? I can't even see. Like, half of my stuff does not even work anymore. I don't know where none of my stuff is no more. Random life fact. 16. Oh, okay. That's what the 16 was for. Um, at age 16. Um, let me think. What happened at age 16? I think age 16 might have been the year that I actually got suspended from school. Um, because I threatened to bring a pow pow into school not to do anything to anybody else but myself and so that's a random life fact from age 16 about uh your favorite squid here
It's heavy, but you know what? This is the funny part. So I'm glad that that happened. Um, because I obviously I didn't do anything. Uh, like I wrote a letter or whatever and sent it to my best friend. And like, I was, we were like months out from me even thinking about like doing the old unalive or whatever. And, uh, and so he told, I think he told my parents or something. Uh, and I had a whole talk with my mom about like life and just like how I was feeling and stuff like that. So I was good. And then unbeknownst to uh, me or anybody else, my sister had gotten a hold of the note. And so what kind of like, what kind of like started that was she got the note and then she went and told a counselor. And so the counselors got into action and then I got suspended for a very brief amount of time. Um, I don't like this bl blending that I'm doing on this hair right now. Um, the counselors got involved and I was suspended because I had to go to, I said you had to go to therapy. I think it was like three therapy sessions and then uh, you had to go get reevaluated at the children's hospital in downtown Cincinnati passed both of those and then I had to have a meeting with the superintendent and a couple teachers and so so all that happened and then I came back uh, from school but after that I was allowed in some of my classes I was actually allowed to um, like do like write just write stories or whatever which is what I wanted to do anyway just write stories all the time and so I was allowed to actually do that uh, instead of like whatever the normal classwork was. And so that kind of like helped me kind of realize like there's a good reason why I'm, I'm here and around and sticking around. So things happen for a reason, but you know how it is. For some reason, I don't know why, but this won't show me my events. Like it won't show me when people redeem redeem stuff. Like I have the controller on my on my iPad. And so it won't show me uh when people redeem stuff. I don't know why. Um we'll do a I'll, you know what? I'll do a fun life fact now. Um at age 16, I also got one of my uh, programs that I was working on up and running, and I had a little miniature battle system working with like super rudimentary uh, 3D. And so I was like super proud about that. Which the only thing from that stuff that exists now is, I want to say there's like two videos. Uh, one of them is going across the overworld and the other one is the intro for uh my game company at the time loose loose because like i was 16 i didn't have a game company i had a group of people who just wanted to do stupid shit so those are my random uh age 16 life facts Oh, there's the scroll bar. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Okay, I see now. For some reason, like, it literally did not notify me that you redeemed that, which sucks. Because I don't know if I've missed other redemptions. I have no idea. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so that is the... That's the skin layer. So I need to... I actually need to erase the skin layer right there. I was like, what is up there? All right. Go back to the hair dark. Old dark hair.
Um, Starfighter, these headphones are only okay. They're like, there's some cheaper headphones. I think these were like maybe $60, $70. So they're not the, they're not the best. Um, what new logo? Zero? Let me see. Said, have you seen the new logo yet? I have not. Is it on your um, is it on your channel? Uh-uh, I have not. Homie, you know I'll be living under the greatest log that you have ever seen in your life. I'm thinking this hair is looking pretty decent. All right, so yeah, the hair looks pretty decent. I got to, there's some refining that I wanna do with it, but at the intended resolution, it looks, without zooming in, it looks pretty decent. I'm not, I'm not too mad about it. Uh, I'm gonna clean up, so this is the picture so far. Um, I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna do clean up on these layers. And then I'm probably gonna end the streamy stream here in a minute. Uh, don't need the line art. Okay, so I need to do, this is the character, care. Oh my God. Apparently my ass cannot uh, freaking type. Uh, so let me grab this one, this, this, this. All of these are coming. All of you are coming with me if you want to live. I know that there is like an infinitely better way to do this, but I don't know it. Uh, hair dark. Okay, so the background needs to stay by itself. Grab all of these, put them in here. There we go. So the background and the character are all separate. So now I need to do, what is this one? I don't need this. Uh, yes, delete that layer. Uh, I need to do the hair over or hair top. There we go. Get the top hair. So I keep all this organized and I can actually freaking see. All right, so top hair and then uh, I'll do a folder for the clothing. We have the eyeshadow and lips are by themselves. Eyeshadow, lips, and nails by themselves. The skin is by itself. And then we need hair under. Um, I'll look at chat again here in a second. I'm trying to get all of this like situated. Okay. I think we are good. I think, so this is where I'm gonna end tonight. Um, there we go. All right, so that can just save. I just sent you a messenger. Okay, bet. Um, I want you to check out this 140 bass music track and see if it sounds good. Search uh, Von D Obstacles. Uh, let me do that after I finish the string is string string I need to see if there's anybody that we can actually uh, raid to because I haven't raided anybody uh, as an art streamer oh that's cool there's like some there's some cool shit going on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. let me what is this nope don't internet price me frontier Old Frontier. All right. Um, I'm gonna save my picture because I don't want it to disappear and I feel like it will disappear at some point. Okay. Anyway, thank y'all for joining your favorite squid this late at night. It is 104 in the morning. My ass tied. I gotta go to bed. 
You know what I'm saying? I gotta go to BM. Um, we're gonna raid over to Paper Box House, and they're playing, or they're time to draw two. I don't know what that is. I have to. I'm I'm waiting for ads because ads are now the staple of my life on Twitch, and I freaking love it. But I freaking love y'all. Thank y'all for coming through. Uh, this is, I think, the first time that I've really sat down and used the new uh, pen display. I fucking love it. Like, I've I've sat down and, like, messed with it, but I haven't, like, done it for this long and really just, like, focused on things that I'm good at doing, but in a new program and trying to, like, bring all that knowledge over. I fucking love you, Possum. Kirby, thank you for coming through. Zero. Gunner, I fucking love you. Fucking love you. Starfighter, thank you for coming through. Axe, uh, I got Axe's shirt on. Axe makes beats. Axe makes art. I got his shirt on and all that goodness. Uh, let me see. Where are we raiding to? My The ads are still playing. Hold on. Hold on. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at this joint right here that you see in your face. I freaking love y'all. And let me let me click my little click my little thing here. Boop, boop. There we go. Let's do slash raid paper. What is it? Paper box house. I'm terrible. I'm literally the most terrible. I need to use this thing again. Box house. I'm so unorganized. I am so freaking unorganized. I hope y'all ready to raid. I fucking love y'all. I will see y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed. Cause I'm I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Peace. Despises me. Not sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry.